Okay, I'm going to see if I can go over some packaging. I at least did four packages so far and they made it up pretty okay. So right here is just a, a scrap uh, piece I, from the call or whatever, a piece I fired in that. So I went and I stuffed it inside with some paper to give it extra reinforcement there. I already have some paper in the box. Take another thing of paper. In okay, case so you can see, there is space uh, between the box and the top. So you got that cushion on the bottom. Put some more newspaper here on the top. And it's like right here it is. Now we're just going to kind of push the box. And like two, this real good thing, nice strong box. So you're going to squish. That's not, I mean, yeah, like this is nice small and stuff. So really, I mean, I really like my weight. Center even. I mean, it's only coming down so far. So as I'm pushing down, like right here is the piece. Like literally, they have to put something real heavy right here in the center. And it's still not, like this is my weight. Finally. I mean, you've seen how far I had to push down until it actually broke the piece inside. So I mean, the paper is going to help cushion it until it actually, I mean, gets to that point where it's going to crack. I mean, yeah, you really got to push down on it though to get like that. So I'd say the biggest factor is the box you're using and the paper itself to kind of help uh, cushion it. Now, if you had bubble wrap, that would probably um, squish it sooner. I can see if I have a extra piece here. Try that with some bubble wrap. Oh. I have to put bubble wrap inside, that'd probably work out pretty good because it really would push out. But, um, let's see. I don't have too, too much bubble wrap because I have two boys, so five year olds, so obviously they like bubble wrap. So let's try this. Let's just try wrapping this around the bubble wrap. Let's see if that'll be. I mean, at least that's one thing too, like if you keep them shifting around the box, that'll help a little bit too. Okay, really. At least, yeah, it being small enough in there, that probably work out pretty good too. Because it's really not moving, you stuff it, so it's not going to shift around. I'm just kind of curious. I mean, at least this box is a pretty good box for this piece. It's got that space in between to help keep it from if this box gets crushed to I mean you can see like this is touching right there but literally you would need something like literally someone would have to jump on this to crush this box <laughs> to actually crush this piece but if this is a bigger box it's not going to be as compact as this you, you want to make sure you got a good box is going to be your main main goal